Vicente Talajeto and Aranza Fusoro. Let's go! Sanjo Gutierrez from Argentina. And the man of Florida goes Victor Ruiz from Spain and the legend Pablo Lima from Brazil. As much as there's a battle between these two teams, we might be getting after it, Gonza, alongside the Spanish broadcast. As you take a look now, the Cancun Waves set to take on the Florida Coats, who have been somewhat unstoppable to this point at event number two. From Spain, on the left side of the court, yesterday it was his birthday. Now, today, trying to win for the first time with the Cancun Waves an entire series. We jump to the other side of the net. The Brazilian, the Canon from Porto Alegre, Pablo Lima, former number one and an absolute legend of the sport, sharing the court this week. Victor Ruiz. At the beginning of the week, we were seeing Pablo Lima sharing the court with Victor Ruiz, this guy born in Spain in 1989, playing on the left side, and sharing the court as well with Pablo Lijo. It seems like for now, the best choice has been Victor Ruiz playing all of the matches for the GOATs with Pablo Lima and Victor and um, Pablo Lico playing the mixed doubles with Aranzo Soro and as well winning all of the matches. Wow. So they found a little bit of a different lineup. They had the same roster but just changed it up a bit. So the Florida GOATs looking really good here in event two. But if you're new to the sport, you've got a couple legends out on the court. Sanyo and of course Pablo Lima sat at the top of the game. And I was talking to Sanyo today early in the morning and he was saying me that he is a bit frustrated in the competition because the Cancun Waves is yet to win a match. So far the Cancun Waves are sitting at the bottom of the table and in this week they haven't win yet so uh, very important for them. As well as was, for example, for the Ghosts last week with the Miami Battle Club to be able to win, at least win one match. And this could be the first. We're here our umpire now. Introducing not only the team, but some of the rules. This is your first match with the PPL. These series are played best of three. A men's match, a women's match, and a mixed match through group play. The two groups are white and gold. You'll have a guaranteed four matches at a group play over the four days. Some teams playing twice in a day, some having a rest day. And Cam, we have 10 teams. Eight from the US, one from Canada, one from Mexico, Cancun Waves, divided into two groups, the gold group and the white group. They face each other throughout the week and the top two qualify into the semifinals to be played Saturday and the big final Sunday. Yeah, but it was nice, too, to see those point distributions after event number one because, again, those are cumulative in terms of the points. You're not just winning money. You're winning points for your team as we have turned this into a team sport. And it's important to find points at every single stop. Four in total, two here in Miami in back-to-back -back weeks. Then in mid-August, we'll have another two events. Los Angeles, the home to those three and four. And then come November, can't even imagine. What's New York going to be like? Oh, it's going to be fantastic. Get the PPL think, Cup final there. Yeah, and uh, I think after Miami, probably the biggest city in terms of battle in the US. So I expect a huge atmosphere, just like the one we had in this back-to-back -back tournament here in Miami. If there's a team that has to go, there's the Atlantics, the home team. That's true. Well, what about here in Florida? You got the Florida Goats. Imagine them moving on to the semifinals. Owned by Daddy Yankee. He's been uh, in and out of this Time. ultra paddle club throughout the last 10 days. And if they win today, if the GOATs win today, they will qualify to the semifinals because Toronto has three wins and one loss. Cancun with no wins. Las Vegas with only one. Florida will have three. And that will 
certify the qualification to the next round. For the New York Atlantics, they are waiting for a win from the Cancun Waves because they're sitting with one win. So for them, it's fundamental that the Waves are able to win this matchup. Same thing for the Las Vegas match. So we're going to have a lot of people rooting for the Waves in this match. Another team to watch out for, the Los Angeles Beat. They sit unbeaten. They're up 3-0 in their group. And at some point, me too, because I feel like they deserve to win. They, they lost so many mixed doubles match, being 1-1 the series. And they have great players like Carolina Navarro, like Sanjo Gutierrez, Teo Zapata. At some point, you want to see at least the Cancun Wave celebrating one time throughout the week. But of course, it's going to be tough. Pablo Lima and Victor Riz are working well together, finding the way to play as a team. And uh, it's going to be close. Hard to tell who is the favorite team into this one. Right of your screen, Teo Zapata, Sanyo Gutierrez. Left of your screen, Victor Ruiz, Pablo Lima. See Ana Cortiles in the backdrop. Now residing in the U.S. Mixed matchup still underway. Just one set being played in that mixed matchup. Between Arkansas and San Diego. Sanyo twisting the wrist strap, gearing up. Lot of goat hats in the backdrop in the VIP section. Present Teo Zabata for Cancun Waves with the first serve. serve. Play. We're going to have both matches here in the center court, men's and women's. Working on Victor Ruiz here. Now Lima. Dropping underneath, Teo Zapata seeing every single shot. Ruiz, sending that out. Well, 15. A little bit of an extended point here. The wind was a key factor throughout the day today. Nice light touch, Zapata. Bit of a shove there from Lima. Catches Ruiz. 15 Makes his 15-0. Bit of handcuff there on his own partner. Yeah. Outstretched Ruiz through the middle. Good ball from Sanyo. Back to back great volleys. The first one was a uh, Magnificent pickup from Victor Ruiz, but then in his corner, the ball was close to the sidewall and was unable to hit it back. 40-15. Got to be careful on that side where the Florida Goats currently are. Wind at their back. Those lobs, especially the high ones, going to get pushed all the way back to the glass. Scooping volley and then a smash. Victor Ruiz, I don't believe, found the court first there on the recovery. Set. So first game to the Cancun Waves. Solid start so far. In the first match, it was short from Teo Zapata. Now this time it was good. Send it for tres. Yes, Victor Ruiz was not able to find the court. Oh.
quite humid camp today, so as the night falls, we're going to see how the glasses become humid and maybe the balls are going to drop down. So many variables in this sport. Got to be able to manage all of the conditions, Pablo Limato, including sir. the amount of heat we've had for the last two weeks. Pablo Lima serving for the goats. And the first long long shot from Sanjo Gutierrez. Of course, at the uh, beginning, you have to adjust, especially from that side. Nice. Great strike from Victor Ruiz. Make it 30, love. Also, when you're smashing from this side, from the goat side, you know that after hitting the back wall, the ball is going to come faster because the ball is going to be pushed by the wind. 30 15. 30 15 now. Another hit. That's going to fly. Again, the wind pays. 40, 15. The point this time for the goats. Just watch how little Sanyo even touches that ball. Tried to take as much pace off as he could. There's just no way. Just doesn't stop. Another one long. It's a hold for the goats. 1-1. One, one. Going through right at. Wang him all for a set. Tough to win games on that side where the wow. Cancun Fifty waves long. are. It's a nice way to start, though. The kick smash going out of the court. Imagine if you find a break on that side, you're doing something really well. Paul. A little late. Let the first serve. Ball out of bound. Ruiz sprinting to the net, but it's not needed. Zapata finds the net himself. The lob was good. It was deep and to the middle. Bill Zapata had to go for it. Make some extra adjustment right there. Oh, trying to pick that up on his toe. 30-15. But there you can see the difference between a lobster where the backhand player receives the ball in his position and the previous one where he has to go and chase the lobster. Didn't have to chase that one either. Right on point. 40-15. And point to Cancun, 40-15. Perfect setup for Teo Zapata. You gave him the assist. Yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Score with Vergonza. Quick exchange here. Another almost identical ball for Teo. Defended by Lima, but there's the opening. King Cancun. Finding the answer, Cancun the Cancun lead. waves. Two games to one for a set. No, 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 no,
Victor B to serve. The GOAT serving the one up for the Waves. Now, even from that side, Sanjo Gutierrez finding the back wall. 15 love. In the secondary court, the mixed doubles is 1 1 between the Arkansas Matrix and the San Diego Stingrays. And here. Victor Ruiz finding the net with that backhand volley. Make it 15 all. <laughs> Nothing you could do with that one. Great smash from Victor Ruiz. 30-15. A lot of force on that from Ruiz. <laughs> Pablo Lima out of the court. The ball stays in. We all thought it was Four going 15. for tres, but the ball decided to come back to the other court. 40-15. Not even one break point. Lima with power. Super block. But then the dunk for <laughs> Pablo Lima. <laughs> for a hold, it's to all set. smiles between Sanyo and Lima. Look at that duel. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, he, got, he got a little scared right there. <laughs> <laughs> and understandably so. That was a great reaction from Sanyo. Tied up two all here. Tough one, well managed by Teo Sabata. Light touch to a heavy one. Teo picking one up. 50 left. When you go for that flat smashes, like this one, again, the ball comes so fast because of the win. It's a good idea to not go for high, but for speed. Trying to find that outstretching that left hand. Lifted up, right on the money for Victor Ruiz. And look what it earns him. The cannon, 30-15. Exploding the ball. Cancun up now, 40-15. 40-15. All holds here. See if there's one more. Let's serve. Forty thirty. Tough ball, Sanyo trying to find small margin left down the line on his forehand side. Forty thirty. And hold for Cancun. King now Cancun. up three to, two. three to two. Three to two for set. 
for Zapata Gutierrez. Not even one break point in the match so far. Let's see if the Waves can do it in this game. Lima serving with the Goats. Waves with power, a touch from Teo. Oh, he blocks in the net. Three in a row, but then finds the glass. That was impressive from Teo Zapata. Pure reflexes. That first one was astonishing. Second one off the right hip. Third one off the right hip. Flat smash. No touch from Lima. From one former number one to another. This time, Sanjo Gutierrez winning the fight. That was close, but the ball doesn't go over the net. 30-15. Great pajada de pared. So smooth. in down the line great effort from Victor Ruiz Teo Zapata has to go back the cannon hitting the ball hard and bringing it back 40-15 and we're gonna go to the other court where the Arkansas Matrix are facing the San Diego Stingrays. The series is 1-1. One, one. Score 1-2 one, here. And they save the first break point. Lucia Sainz and Miguel Lamperti for the San Diego Stingrays. Salo Rubio and Patti Yaguno for the Arkansas Matrix. Still three break points for our Kansa. Rubio from the baseline. Between the legs, Pati Yaguno, but the ball goes out of bounds. 30-40, two break points saved by Miguel Lamperti and Lucia Sainz. Two more to go. Lamperti, working the backhand. Rubio. Moving Rubio everywhere. 
ducking out of the way, finding that down the line, trying to defend again. Saints. Oh. Yanguno takes the shot down the line. This time it's Rubio into the cross court. Flat and into the angle. Rubio with a shot. After a long rally, opening up the racket, making it 3-1 for the Arkansas Matrix. Looking good in this week after getting two wins in the previous days of competition. Heading back to the main court, Sanjo Gutierrez serving, 15-30. The Goats pushing here. And there they go. 15-43, break points. Not the first one. Forehand from Victor Ruiz stays short. It goes into the net. Golden point. Aram Sosori's benches. Be positive, you're playing good. You're gonna win the point. Zapata, the big hit, no block from Pablo Lima. They save the situation, the waves. They're fourth, three up. And this first set. Cancun switching back to the side, wind in the face. For the end change here. Block, Teo Zapata, and a second, this one becomes a winner. Sanyo continuing the words of encouragement to Teo. Sanyo trying to find the outside of the court. Ball going over the sponsorship boards. 
But remember the previous fake por tres from Lima. That was the key because maybe Sanjo was expe oh. expecting the same thing here. He took an extra second to see if the, if the ball was going out or not. And when it was, it was Great. too late. Popped up from tail. Sanyo oh, finding the back corner. 15-30. Well played here, look at this. Stays right at about that service line, recognizing the double bounce. Side glass, back glass, back to him. Oh, some really nice volleys on the side of Lima. One better though is Sanyo. I mean, the goats back to the court. And a miss. 30 old. But even if the finish was not ideal, so smart from Sanyo, you don't want to go to that duo volley to volley with Pablo Lima. And then when he could, he plays that lob shot to push them back and to start again. But from the net, setting up the smash for Teo Zapata. Yes, he found the fence, but uh, building the point was perfectly done. Forty thirty. Florida Goats. Only from the back of the court for Sanyo. Good ball. Somewhat unexpected. Ruiz. High lob. Zapata. Let's that bounce comes back off the four meter fence. And point for Florida. Give Florida for your soul. Brings us to four all. Like every single match today, so close. That has really been the case. The number of tie breaks we've seen in both the first set and the second, not to mention the super tie breaks. And even the mixed matchup, right? Every single one of them. It's just been crazy paddle today. Love. It's 15 love now, Teo Zapata serving. Again stays in, Sanjo finds Victor Ruiz to make it 30 Three. love. Hard to tell when the ball is going out or not with Pablo Lima. And he plays that shot. The angle from Sanjo. Four enough. Good touch, soft hands. 40 love. It's a Game clean game goal. for the Waves, lead. leading by four. five four games to four. Games. After the break, they will have the chance while returning to close the first set. Así que no se nada. Normal no. Así. Como si fuera una lista así. 
Dale, sí, normal, no. ¿Eh? Normal, no. Dale. Okay, cool ways might actually be on legitimate fire right now. The mister looking a little, <laughs> a little iffy on the sideline. I think they've got it taken care of. Five, four here. Make it four, five. Florida Goats down. Still no breaks in this first set. Finding the marriage of the carpet and the glass there, the Florida Goats. Oh, Ruiz stepping across and finding the volley down the line. Make it 30 love. Florida Goats looking to even the score. My prediction is that we're going to have a tie break here. <laughs> Ruiz loads. 30 15. Just misses. Trying to go to the last part of the court to make it jump. Light touch. Pablo Lima. 40-15. Lima dug out. Flattening here. Ruiz sends the lob. Ball out of bounds and evens the score. Five all. That was a rocket aiming for the corner. Just out. No break so far, 5 all. And I think it's been like this the entire day because of the conditions. That's it's hard to defend. It's a good point. If you cannot use your lob shot properly, it's hard. Cannot believe it, but again the ball just moves in the air, even if it's short, because he was close to the net. Look at that. It's so tough. Still slightly laughing at the reaction. Ruiz looking over this direction, twisting his hat in his hand. That one hurt him. The ball goes por tres. Ruiz picks it up and puts it close to the net. Backhand, no look. And another highlight for the goats. That's one way to come back. Full. Come back with a shot like that. Beautiful technique. Net first serve. 15 all. Teo, big kick. Overhead coming back 30. to his court. 30-15. 40-15 now, main return from Victor Ruiz. It's another hold for the Cancun Waves, 6-5 in the first set. After the break, we will know if we will have a tie break or not.
Six five Four. for the waves. The goat serving to send this into a tie break again today. And you're from the line. Big hit. Finding the last corner. The last inch of the court. Law 15. with power, flat smash, the cannon. I like that, Pablo with power, flat smash. Fifteen all here, Victor Ruiz serving. Net, first serve. The waves fighting for the first break of the match. Full which in this case will mean the entire set. The only team yet to win a series. Big hit this time down the line from 30. Victor Ruiz. 30-15. smash and we're jumping to the other court where the Orcans are matrix are winning by 5-2 but San Diego Stingray serving 30 love in other words Arkansas is in control yes they are Salo Ruby and Patti Yaguna are working well as a team yeah they really are they have been some of, since the beginnings of this these events. Oh, Lamperti serving. The block from Yaguno. Salo Rubio showing up another angle. We've seen many of those from Rubio to make it 30-15. In the main court, we're going to have a tie break, just to keep you updated. A time to see what happens here. It's the end of the match. Forty fifteen. Now the Vibora from Miguel Lamperti to the corner to get another point to stay alive to make it five three. Now they win this next point. Oh, Yaguno, cross court. Beautiful backhand to find the winner to make it 40 30. The 
Uno with the lob shot down the line. Now Gonzalo Rubio. Diego from Yaguno. Lamperti pushing them back. It's game for the San Diego Stingrays. Now the Arkansas Matrix leading by five games to three, only one point, one game away from the victory. Arkansas again looking for their third series win. Put them in a great position to move into the semifinals. Back to the main court. Here in a tie break, this one just played to seven. 3-0 start for Florida. Tail waiting patiently to find the first. Make it 1-3. Sanyo on the serve. Handful of blocks, but the pressure just keeps uh, getting added. Pablo Lima, step by step to the net. You don't want to go to Lima again in that duel. Each volley takes one step closer to the net. Hitting it harder and harder every time. Great pick up from Teo Zapata, spinning around now with power. Ruiz, Zapata, touch. And nothing to do for Sanyo Gutierrez with that one. Low to his feet. 5-1 for the Florida Goats. Zapata still standing on the court right now. Frustrated, you can see it right there. Chasing that ball down, but not finding enough power to send that out of the court. It's frustrating. At the end of the day, you know that you haven't won a series yet. And you, and you're going to need it for confidence, for points, for money, for everything. Report tres by Lima. This time it goes out, but Sanjo gets it. And now miscommunication in the middle. Five two for you. Point for the waves. I think that becomes an us. Yeah. <laughs> but not in a good way this time. Teo. Yes. Carving around the edges of the wall. Finds three five. Taking some pace off. Oh, was inches away from a second bounce for Ruiz. Sanyo chasing that, back to the net, tail. And another point for Cancun. San Diego finding a break out in the mixed matchup, so they're still alive. Now 5-4 for Arkansas Matrix, and 5-4 here in the tiebreak. Three straight for Cancun. The block by Sanjo doesn't make it over. Six it's 6-4 yeah. for the Goats, and they have two set points. Pima with power, power touch from Sanjo Gutierrez. Now Teo Zapata is going to let it fly to the fence. Great effort from the magic man, from Sanyo Gutierrez to save it. 6-5 for the Ghost Steel, one set point. Tail with the first volley. And a good ball. Keeping this to close, six all here as they knot it up. Must win by two. 
in this tie break in the first set. Are we going to have another 15-13? <laughs> Maybe. Like in the vaults. <laughs> we like extended paddle. Oh, we do a lot. Of course, especially with these kind of players, superstars. Sanyo, still on the serve here. Keeping that through the middle, Sanyo. Teo fights that before the glass. Ruiz, a little extra strength. Now another set point for the Goats. Ruiz playing a magnificent first set, especially with a smash. Victory to serve. Ruiz overhead working. <laughs> A block from Teo. Now he goes for power and he brings it back, saving another set point. Teo Zapata, 7-0. Fighting off two at this point. The ball jumps, goes into the sky. We played a nine now. This time it goes for tres. Pablo Lima flat smash, pure power. Make it 8 7 for the Goats. And the fourth set point. Finding the top of the net through the middle. Set one belongs to the Florida Goats. Taking the tie break 7 6. <laughs> Hard fought battle in set number one as you now take a look to the grandstand. 4 5, 30 all. The Matrix with the advantage here. Just one set again being played. They are just two points away from picking up the series win. And San Diego just two points away from pushing this. Make it one, San Diego. Great dunk. 40-30, Stingrays. Can they even the score here? Make it five all. All-out war on our grandstand. Again, Lucia sending that back out of the court. Five all. Wasn't the score two five? It was. They were leading by a huge amount of games. Now San Diego fighting Lamperti and Sainz. Very important for Arkansas now to stay in the game. To keep fighting, just to forget about the meet opportunities. Patia Guna to serve. Patti finding Miguel Lamperti. He was trying to dodge it. Wasn't able. 15 love. To the corner goes Salo Rubio. 
15, oh, no, 30 love, excuse me. A little assistance from Lamberti. stays in but Patty finds the net 30 15 some interesting moments now actually on the center court as we've got three of our athletes but missing one as they gear up for the second set Nice save, and another one from Lucia Sainz. But then Salo Rubio with the wide empty corner to finish the job to make it 40-15 and to have three chances to make it 6-5. Another serve for Patti Yaguno. Sainz goes to the net. But she finds a side wall, another game. Well, Arkansas Matrix, 6-5 up. While they change over, we'll take a look back to the center court. Florida on the serve. Second set underway. 50 all. Got to find a way to change the tide for the Cancun Waves. If anyone can change the tide, it'd be them. Ruiz gets dug up and tail. Finds himself up at the net. And he said, saque una, vamos. Finally, one, one went out. <laughs> Finally, I was able to dunk a ball. We got real-time translation. Love that. finding a lucky one on his side, but instead finds the top of the fence. 40-30 here for the Florida Goats. Sends a portrait and picks up game one. Another for tres from Pablo Lima. Playing good match. Solid. Sanjo Gutierrez serving for the waves and Pablo Lima finding the back. Power 
smash from Victor Ruiz. Another one. 15 all. Thirty fifteen. Thirty fifteen. The ball flies forever. Leo Zapata off the wall smash. And then finding the net. Thirty on its way back to the net. Thirty all here. The effort was good, but not good enough. 40-30. 40-30. Ruiz wanted that one. Lima took it. And then Ruiz was just out of position. Kick smash from Teo Zapata to bring it back. One game apiece in the saddle court. But we have to jump to the other one, to the secondary court. 6-5 for the Arkansas Matrix. 15-30, now 30-0. Lamberti finding Gonzalo Rubio down the line. going back but she's not gonna need it it's 40 30 a chance to send it to a super tie break what a surprise we've seen so many of those today yes. Lamperti goes out it's golden point break point set point match point serious point for Arkansas Matrix, semi-finals point. To get into the top four, the Arkansas Matrix. Rubio to receive, working in his corner, and then Lamperti finding the union between the side wall and the back wall. To another hole, to make it 6-6 and to go to a super tie break. First point in the super tie break is for the San Diego Stingrays <laughs> and the crazy face from Miguel Lamperti, a showman. Stingray serving. But Lucia signs. 2 0 for San Diego. Lamperti going for it. The ball goes out of the court. Rubio was trying to place the ball with the angle instead of going over the fence. The point is for San Diego to make it 3 0. 
Look at that replay. Fantastic job. Yaguno serving. After being 5-2 up, the Arkansas Matrix now on the edge of losing this matchup. Lamperti to the fence. The ball stays in. Now he has to go to the right side. But immediately comes back. Diving for that one, Miguel Lamperti. Insane job from Miguel. To pick up another point. The legend, look at that. Bang. Brilliant from Miguel Lamperti. Now, of course, you gotta laugh at it. I just love the positive mentality from Gonzalo Rubio. Cabeza arriba, Patti. We're gonna win this. Heads up, we're gonna win this. Vamos que lo ganamos. To do that, winning this point would be good, but access denied. From Miguel Lamperti, five points in a row for San Diego. Now the first point of the super direct for the Arkansas Matrix to make it 5-1. Still a good lead for the San Diego Stingrays. We're going to switch sides. Hot match. Everyone wants to win. In that goal group, we have the Houston Volts with two wins and two losses. The LA Beat with three wins, almost securing a place in the semifinals. Miami taking three losses and no wins. Arkansas 2 0 so far. Yet to be decided what happens here. And this would be if they finish the job, the first win for San Diego after losing the first two series. So if Arkansas wins, the LA Beat. And Arkansas will be moving into the semifinals. If San Diego wins, we have to see what happens because uh, San Diego will have the chance to be 2-2. Two and two. Houston Volts is 2-2, two and two, and Arkansas could be 2-2. Two and two. Five, one up. San Diego. Patti sending it to the glass wall. 6-1 for San Diego. Great save in her corner. Lucia signs, but then Patti Yaguno step forward. And the dunk to make it 6-2. We're showing the pro panel league event number two. Ten teams divided in five into two groups of five, playing each other throughout the week. And the top two qualifying into the semifinals. Those 10 teams, eight of them qualifying into the PPL Cup Finals at the end of the season after the four regular season events. Another point for San Diego, the face pump from Miguel Lamperti and Lucia Sainz. 7-2.
one million dollars prize money like never before to be distributed within the teams throughout the regular season events and the ppl cup finals <laughs> Sign serving. Lamperti goes for the kick smash, but Salo Rubio gets it. And the Vamos Pati, let's go Pati from Salo Rubio to make it 7 3. serve for Lucia Sainz a Chiquita from Patti to push behind the back Patti Yaguno great save great pickup and now Sainz to the fence to make it 8-3 and to be only two points away look at that the technique all the repertoire from Patti Yaguno but at the end San Diego Stingray is looking much better now. Miguel Lamperti chasing every single ball. But Patti Yaguno and another winner to make it 8-4. And we're going to switch sides again. Lampertian signs coming back to the main court. Fighting for the series. Uh, the Arkansas Matrix and the San Diego Stingrays. It's 8 4 for San Diego. Rubio goes for it. That's perfectly done from Lucia Sainz down the line to make it 9-5, 9-4, excuse me, and to have five match points. Miguel Lamperti serving for San Diego. Five match points for the Stingrays to get the first win of the week. Yeah. And Lamperti lets it go. It's a glass final from Yaguno. Game set a match for Miguel Lamperti and Lucia Sainz. Epic comeback from the San Diego Stingrays against the Arkansas Matrix to get the first win of the week. Impressive performance, even facing a match point down. Now time for us to head back into the main court for the Cancun Waves and the Goats. We're going to do a short break and we'll be back with more action here in the Pro Paddle League 2024.
Cuando se va al super time de hacer algo. Una duda de cómo estamos. Vamos a ganar. Venga. Va, 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 Pablo, va. Venga. Fifty all. Thirty forty. Couple extra break points for the goats. The waves are a break up. Four three in the second set. They're very important for them to win the second. Zapata finding the net. Break for the goats. When it was looking good for the waves, now again all tight for all. is going to let it bounce. Teo slicing it to put one extra ball in play. Another one from Sanjo. You're not going to make it three in a row. Fifteen love. Lima serving. The Goats looking clean this week. Two wins, no losses. Unfortunate from Pablo Lima, 15 all. The cannon. Too much sauce on that one. Plays time. It does it in the right way. Some adjustments. It's not going to be two in a row for my number one. Quality player, superstar. Forty fifteen. They are not finding the court. And a good serve from Pablo Lima. 
the lefty spin, making it awkward for this man, for the Magic. The one and only Sanyo Gut. Lima fighting in this point, holding on to the big moment, as he always does. High lob shot from Victor Ruiz. Finds the back wall. 15 love. Zapata por tres. Magnificent. A thing of a beauty. 30 love. Wide open por tres. Look at that, the angle. And how far the ball goes. Unstoppable. Thirty fifteen. Thirty fifteen. Zapata finding the net. Now, Sanjo with another first serve. Sanjo goes out, not able to pick it up. 40 30 now. And of course, we have no breaks, but if the Goats win the next two points, they're going to have the match. Pata por tres, see you ball. That's cash, easy money. Five games all. And of course, we're gonna have another tiebreaker. It was like this the entire day. The entire day. And if it happens to be the Waves winning the set, we're going to have another super tie break. No block from Teo Zapata. 30 love. Be Teo Zapata there. You don't want to step in front of Pablo Lima when he's hitting it, those power shots. 40 15 now. The angle from Ruiz to push Teo Zapata back. It's a game, another hold. The Goats. 6-5 up in the second set. Okay. 
The waves serving to stay alive. Law 15. Zapata, the ball goes out, and then Victor Ruiz with an amazing finish. Going out, slapping it. Look at that. So quick. Great footwork. Great execution. And the point that it's worth a lot. Single term. Law 30. Great ball, Molly taking some pace off right here to Zapata. Fifteen thirty. Thirty all now. The return, finding the glass wall. Part of the big smash out of the court, another brilliant for tres. Forty thirty. Three straight points for the waves. This is to send it to a tie break again. To the corner goes Zapata. What a save from Ruiz. What a save from Victor Ruiz in the corner. Now with the angle. The Portres, Lima, Sanjo picks it up. Now he blocks it. Insane point. Sanjo with power to finish the job to bring it back to his court. It's a point that is worth a tie break again, like the entire day. Another tie break. Into the penalties we go. Blocks from Sanyo. Third smash from Ruiz. Three in a row for the big guy from the Florida Goats. Back to back crazy blocks from Sanyo Gutierrez. Sanyo Gutierrez to serve.
Ball goes out. Magnificent for tres from Teo Zapata. 1-1. One, one. Down the line, Teo Zapata, big hit. 2-1 for the Waves. Just out. <laughs> Good call from Victor Ruiz. Pablo Lima was so close to hitting it. But he was obedient. Smart play. Two points each. Ruiz serving again. Lima, the Portres, the ball goes out. Sanjo gets it. Soft touch from the magician, the wizard, Daniel Sanjo Gutierrez. Two for the waves, waving it, swimming in the ocean. Last fighter from Pablo Lima, 4-2 for, for Cancun, taking the lead in the tie break. They need to win. Zapata serving 4-2, the waves. Ball stays in, Teo gets it, Teo waves it in. Now from the line, Sanyo the block from Ruiz. Nicely done. Pablo Lima, the legend, the one and only, the lefty, the cannon from Porto Alegre. 4-3, Cancun. 4-3. Port Cancun. For tres again from Lima. Another touch from Sanyo Gutierrez. From one door to the other. The Magic Man showing up in a big way. In a clutch moment. The Argentinian. Making it 5-3 for the Waves. Back to back saves. Zapata. Off the wall smash. That's gonna find the back. That's gonna find the back. And it's gonna be 6-3. Three. three set points for the Mexican team. Look at that, Sanjo Gutierrez, the magic man. Can you do that? That you don't, or at least not me. High break on the way. The ball stays in. Ruiz goes for it, punishing the fake Portres to get the first point of the super tie break. Victory to serve. 
Ruiz going for it. And Ruiz closing the two deal here right to make it 4-0, oh, 2-0, oh. excuse me. After the kick smash, the ball jumps, goes high. Make it three. Three zero for right up. And this new and game changer format, we play two normal sets. And then in case of a tie, we go into a super tie break up to 10 points. You have to win by two. 10 teams fighting Full. in each regular season event to get in the top eight to qualify to the PPL finals to be played at the end of the season in each regular season event. We have two teams divided, two groups divided with five teams each facing each other throughout the week. And the top two qualify into the semifinals. Well, that ball landed close to our Spanish channel broadcast. Teo slapping the ball out of the court. Make it 3-1, now 3-2, glass finder. 3-2 to Lorena. Pablo Lima to serve. We have one men's match. One women's match and one mixed doubles match. Lima with the angle, Sanyo down the line, and Victor Ruiz not able to make it over the net. Three points in a row for the goats to start, three points in a row for the waves to follow to make it 3 0 before switching sides. Eight teams from the US, one team from Mexico, one team from Canada. You have to win as many points as you can. The winner of each regular season event gets a thousand points. And then you go back until the 10th place where you get 100. 4-3 four, three, four, three now for the GOATs after that power smash. They all wanted to send it por cuatro over the fence. The frustration from the backhand player. The idea was right, going close to the net and then slapping it out of the court. The ball was not high enough to do it. Zapata por tres, Ruiz again, door to door. Delivery ball. Six, three for the goats. Victor to serve. Smash, Victor Ruiz, footwork. That was a rocket. Adi Yankee's gonna be happy about that one. The owner of the GOATS, 7-4, one point for the Waves. They're pushing with the volleys. One to the middle, one to the corner. Perfect combination to punish the opponents, to hurt them. 
Sapat and the power smash again in a big moment to do it. 7-5, we're gonna switch sides again. The GOAT's up by two points. Another surf for the waves. Another surf for Teo Zapata specifically. That was an impossible block for Sanjo Gutierrez. So smart for Pablo Lima to walk from the baseline to the net and then to find an unprotected Sanjo Gutierrez right there. And use a forehand. Going thin, going close to the net. No margin. Now Ruiz finding the sidewall. 8-6 for the Goats. Only two points away from the win. Make it nine, nine, six. Victor Ruiz off the wall, smash, going down the line. Teo Zapata was covering the middle, but that zone was wide open. And when he tried to reach, it was too late. Three match points for the GOATs. Not the first one, nine, seven. But they have a couple more. A drop shot from the Magic Man. Good cover. Great reach from Teo Zapata to close the door in front of Victor Ruiz's face. 9-8, third match point for the Ghosts. The first one serving. There they go, Paulo Lima. The flat smash to finish the job. Game set a match for the Flow Rider Goat. Seven, six, six, seven, and 10, eight. To give the Goats the first point of the match. Now the Goats step closer to the semifinals. <laughs> High five between the Pablo Lima, the legend, and Jorge Martinez, the coach from the Goats. Now we're going to have the mixed doubles in just a few seconds. It's been played in the second court. But Carolina Navarro and Ana Cortiles are representing the Cancun Waves. And Aranzo Soro with Mapi Sanchez Arayeto for the Goats. <laughs> Vamos, 
In just a few seconds, we will have Javi Carrasco with the winners. It's Pablo Lima and Victor Ruiz. What an honor for Victor Ruiz to be able to play with a legend like Pablo Lima. For many years, top one in the world. He retired last season, and today, and during the entire profile league, he gets the chance to play again, to feel competitive, to show to the world how good he is. Even after retiring, he's able to complete to compete with the guys on tour, the guys that are playing week in, week out in Premier Paddle and in different other tours, and to win, to reach that physical level that is required to compete in paddle. And not only to do it one day, not only to do it two days, but to do it throughout an entire back-to-back -back weeks. Victor Ruiz and Pablo Lima getting ready for the interview with Javi Carrasco, the high five between them. And time to listen to the winners to hear what they have to say. The winners of the match, Pablo Lima and Victor Ruiz. It was a tough match. Beautiful paddle. Pablo, good afternoon. I want to thank the guys playing with me because they have to run a lot to cover me. For us and for the U.S., it's a big step in the future. Of course, it's a shame because the young guys have to run to cover my lack of physicality. Victor Pablo Lima will always be a legend of the sport. To win here, it's a pleasure. I played four matches with Pablo Lima, but I still get nervous because I'm playing with him with a lot of respect. I'm happy to be in the US. Now we have to go and wait for the girls. Yes, of course, we have to go. And now, something for the girls. The vamos, the come on, from Pablo Lima, the winners. Him and Victor Ruiz from the Florida Goats getting the first point of the series. We are going to stay here because we have to go to the other court to see what's happening between the Goats and, of course, the Cancun Way.